Welcome back to TFX, your go-to source for all the latest buzz in the world of reality TV. Today, we've got an exciting mix of news stories that are making waves across the small screen. Let's dive right into our six unique stories that you won't want to miss. First up, we have an inside look at Us Weekly and Pluto TV's star-studded reality stars of the year party. Get ready for some major celebrity moments and a special spotlight on Kyle Richards. Next, we're turning to the tumultuous world of 90 Day Fiancé. Michael Elisami opens up about his shocking disappearance and the chaotic state of his relationship with Angela Deem. Trust us, this is one you don't want to miss. And from Bachelor in Paradise, we have a rather unusual health scare. Samantha Jeffries turns a potentially embarrassing situation into a powerful lesson with her new children's book. Learn all about it. Meanwhile, the Golden Bachelorette's Joan Vassos is basking in the spotlight as she lands an exciting new gig. Details about her Broadway debut are just around the corner. In other news, Liz from 90 Day Fiancés spills some shocking NSFW details about her relationship with Big Ed during the tell-all. Get ready for some jaw-dropping revelations. And finally, we have breaking news on the ABC schedule. Bachelor in Paradise is Mia. We'll discuss what this means for fans and what's coming next for the franchise. Stick around as we break down each story with all the juicy details. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more fascinating reality TV updates. The Reality Bites Back and Pluto TV Reality, Stars of the Year Party, was an unforgettable night filled with glitz, glamour, and some of the biggest names in entertainment. This star-studded affair took place at the Highlight Room in Los Angeles on October 10, where 11 reality TV stars were celebrated for their incredible contributions to the genre over the past year. Among the honorees was none other than the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, Kyle Richards, who was crowned as Weekly's Reality Star of the Year. In an exclusive cover story interview, Kyle shared her mixed emotions about receiving the prestigious title. You sort of have mixed feelings because obviously, I appreciate it. And on the other, it's like, things must be really wild and crazy for me to be on the cover, she confided. She added, I don't think you get named Reality Star of the Year without going through a lot of sass. Kyle wasn't the only standout at the event, as other notable names from various reality shows were also recognized. The impressive list included The Bachelorette star Jen Tran, Love Island star Leah Keteb, and Summer House star Lindsay Hubbard, among others. Nyar. As the evening unfolded, Many honorees were spotted mingling, reminiscing, and celebrating their achievements, proving once again that reality TV stars continue to capture the hearts and minds of viewers around the world. Stay tuned as we reveal more iconic moments from this sparkling night. Now, let's dive into the shocking events surrounding 90 Day Fiancé star Michael Ilisanmai. Recently, he opened up about his disappearance from estranged wife Angela Deem's home earlier this year, a situation that left fans and viewers puzzled. During a recent episode of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, it was revealed that just four days after filming a five-part tell-all in New York City, Michael vanished. In a candid video recording, he explained what led to this dramatic turn of events. I want to share my side of the story with you. After the tell-all, you know, we went back home and as usual, my wife Angie, you know, she got angry. She started giving me attitude and saying all sorts of things to me. So it got to a point, I just had to leave, Michael recounted. He disclosed that he walked for over five hours to escape the tension before a friend helped him reach a bus station. Although he did not reveal his exact location during the time he was missing, he expressed that his intentions toward Angela had always been sincere. Despite her accusations that he used her to gain a U.S. visa, the drama didn't end there. Angela, taking to her confessional, warned Michael, saying, I'll see you soon, Michael, in a plane or a courtroom hinting at the turmoil in their relationship. Their journey, fraught with ups and downs, has captured the attention of fans ever since their debut on the franchise back in 2018. As if things couldn't get more complicated, Angela filed for an annulment in June citing she was fraudulently induced into the marriage. 
She accused Michael of engaging in a conspiracy with other Nigerian men to manipulate U.S. citizens into marriage for immigration purposes. In response, Michael started a GoFundMe to cover his legal fees, as he countered Angela's claims with accusations of his own, including cruel treatment and physical and mental abuses during their time together. This tumultuous saga is far from over, and fans are left wondering what the future holds for Michael and Angela. Don't miss the next episode of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, airing Sundays on TLCO. And now, we turn to a rather unusual and highly memorable moment from Bachelor in Paradise. Star Samantha Jeffries recently made headlines for an experience that many would consider embarrassing but has since turned it into a powerful lesson for others. During her stint on the show, Samantha found herself unable to go to the bathroom for an astonishing 12 days leading to a medical emergency and a tearful exit. Rather than shying away from this ordeal, Samantha has chosen to embrace her unwanted fame by releasing a children's book titled Sam Can't Poop. Samantha recounted the unexpected attention she received after appearing on Paradise. I was at a pool in Scottsdale and this mom and daughter came up to me and they go, are you the poop girl from The Bachelor? And I was like, I can't believe that's how people know me, but yes, she shared laughing off the situation. The idea for the children's book had been in the works even before her appearance on the show, as Samantha, an occupational therapist, works with children facing bathroom-related anxieties. Several of our kids have issues going to the bathroom. A lot of kids are just scared of it. They feel like they're losing a body part. It's a sensory thing, she explained. The book aims to help normalize the conversation around bowel movements, making it less taboo for kids. After her dramatic exit from season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise, where she experienced painful bloating and distressing constipation in the oppressive heat, Samantha recognized an opportunity to turn her experience into something meaningful. It got to the point about a week in, I couldn't even fit in my clothes. I looked pregnant, she recalled. With support from her former co-worker and co-author, Carly Ingian, the book is set to help children overcome their fears. I called her immediately and I was like, this is it. This is our sign, Samantha added. Not only did Samantha turn a difficult experience into a valuable teaching moment, but she has also created a unique connection with her fans. Stay tuned as we continue to follow Samantha's journey and the positive impact her new book aims to have. Shifting gears, let's talk about Joan Vassos, the star of The Golden Bachelorette. After recently making her debut on the show, Joan is already making headlines with exciting news about a new gig that has left her over the moon. In an exclusive interview, Joan revealed that she has landed a role in a Broadway production, marking her debut on one of the most prestigious stages in the world. Can you believe it? They asked me to be the fortune teller just for one guest appearance. I have four lines. I can't believe I get to do this. It's just like a dream come true considering I have absolutely no talent that I get to be on Broadway, Joan exclaimed, clearly thrilled about this unexpected opportunity. The announcement about her Broadway role comes amid the excitement surrounding her season as the Golden Bachelorette. Despite the intense scrutiny she faced during her journey, it seems Joan is determined to focus on the positive. She expressed her hope for a happy ending, especially after the drama surrounding her predecessor, Jerry Turner. Joan's appearance in the show has resonated with audiences looking for love and companionship later in life. Her joyful personality and spirit shine through, and fans are rooting for her to avoid the pitfalls that plagued previous contestants on the franchise. However, it's worth noting that not all reactions to her new gig have been positive, with some online commenters expressing skepticism about the upcoming relationships established in the senior edition of the show. Despite the criticisms, Joan remains optimistic about her Broadway debut and her future both on stage and in love. As we continue to follow Joan's journey, we can't help but cheer for her as she balances newfound fame on television with the thrill of performing live on Broadway. We can't wait to see what's next for this inspiring bachelorette. In a sizzling update from the world of 90 Day Fiancé, 
Liz Woods has been making headlines following a fiery tell-all episode where she opened up about her tumultuous relationship with Big Edge. Brown Dot the drama unfolded as it became clear that there's still some unfinished business between the former fiancés. During the tell-all, Liz unveiled shocking NSFW details about her intimate life with Ed leaving both the cast and fans in disbelief. After it was revealed that Liz has a new boyfriend, Jason, tensions flared when Ed's feelings of jealousy bubbled to the surface. Liz confidently stated that Jason tops Ed in every way and emphasized how much healthier and happier she feels in her new relationship. But the real fireworks began when Ed couldn't hold back his thoughts. He made scathing remarks about Liz, suggesting she would have taken everything from him and disparaging her by calling her someone else's problem now. However, Liz fired back with a low blow, highlighting Ed's height with a quip. I'm so happy I can mentally and physically look up to someone for the first time in my life. Things escalated further when Ed took a jab at Liz, saying, You have sloppy sex. In response, Liz made a jaw-dropping comment that shocked everyone in the room, referring to Ed's questionable taste in adult entertainment, which left viewers wondering just how low their exchanges would go. Jason, Liz's supportive new partner, stepped in a expressing his pride in her for standing up for herself and making it clear that he would defend her against Ed's insults. He asserted, I don't have much to say to you. First of all, after today you're in the past. We're going to move forward starting today. As the drama unfolded, Liz made it clear that she's found love and support in Jason, stating, I have a lot of love to give to her. And honestly, I've seen how she's been so depressed before and I just don't ever want to see that with her again. This confrontation has fans buzzing, and it's evident that Liz is ready to move on and embrace a brighter future. With Jason by her side, it's a new chapter for her, leaving Ed in the rearview mirror. Stay tuned to see how this drama continues to unfold in the upcoming episodes of 90 Day Fiancé. Happily ever after. And now, let's talk about some surprising news for fans of Bachelor in Paradise. It seems that the beloved beach-based dating show is missing from ABC's fall primetime schedule, leaving devoted viewers wondering what's going on. Traditionally, Bachelor in Paradise premieres in late September filming during the summer months for its highly anticipated release. However, the network recently revealed their 2024-2025 lineup, which features no sign of the fan-favorite series. This unexpected absence has raised eyebrows, and fans are left speculating about when or even if, paradise will return. In light of the shakeup, fans could be facing a long wait until the summer of 2025 for the next round of dramatic love triangles and unforgettable moments on the beach. Network insiders have yet to provide clarity on whether Bachelor in Paradise will be pushed into a winter season or if it's been entirely shelved for now. On a brighter note for Bachelor Nation, ABC has announced that the inaugural season of The Golden Bachelorette will be airing on Wednesday nights, offering a fresh perspective on love and relationships with a cast of seniors looking for companionship. The episodes will be longer this time around, extending to 90 minutes, compared to the standard 60-minute episodes of previous seasons. This extension gives viewers more time to dive into the stories and connections being formed. While fans mourn the absence of Bachelor in Paradise, they can still tune in to The Golden Bachelorette for heartwarming romance and real-life stories of love later in life. With new shows like High Potential, Dr. Odyssey, and Scamanda joining the fall lineup there, still plenty to look forward to on ABC. But for now, the question remains, when will Bachelor in Paradise make its triumphant return? We'll keep you updated as more information becomes available, so don't forget to subscribe to stay in the loop.